Hello everybody. If you are interested in making some significant changes in your life and having someone support you, encourage you, giving you the proper techniques to accomplish the goals you want, my email's up there. Send me an email and it's very affordable coaching. Today we're going to talk about discomfort. One of the things that comes up constantly in coaching sessions is people and how they deal with feeling uncomfortable. The common pattern in the way we've conditioned ourselves is when we feel uncomfortable, we want to avoid it. We want to leave the situation. And in doing so, we lose a perfect opportunity to grow. Understand that you've got to feel uncomfortable in order to grow. Kind of the gym philosophy, no pain, no gain. And the discomfort is always going to be much worse in our mind. So whether it's asking the boss for a raise, having an uncomfortable conversation with someone, traveling to a place that you've never been, or thinking outside of the box, trying to find a job in, in your job search, what we tend to gravitate to is the known, what we know and what makes us comfortable. One of the beautiful things and how I came up with the name of Vagabond Steve is I wanted to challenge myself to feel uncomfortable, especially uh, when I was younger and traveling and doing all kinds of things. I've uh, ridden my bike about 2,400 miles throughout the United States and would just get a backpack and travel to all these different places without knowing how I'm going to survive or how I'm going to, um, who I'm going to meet or where I'm going to stay. And that experience has allowed me to realize that we're capable of so much more than we give ourselves credit for. But we have fear just kicks in, takes over. It's our primitive brain that responds to discomfort as a life-threatening situation. And millions of years ago, that's probably very helpful. The discomfort and the, the uncomfortable situations, that primitive brain was protecting us. But now... That's no longer the case. Most of the time, it's, it's not a life or death uh, situation. If you see someone that you like, the pretty girl, handsome guy, and you want to go up and approach, approach and talk to them, your heart beats like it's a life-threatening situation, but it's not. And But when we have those situations and we pull back from them, we are reinforcing that behavior. And we are teaching ourselves that the way we deal with discomfort is by avoiding it. And you don't grow. There's no growth. There's no pain. There's no joy in life by staying in your within your comfort zone. And what I encourage my clients to do is look for opportunities to stretch your comfort zone and think just change your mindset about them. It's not a negative thing. It's a positive thing. It's a gift that's being handed to you and to be thankful for it. And some situations, for example, in social situations, if there's an uncomfortable conversation that somebody's doing that's bothering you and you feel like if you tell them they're going to judge you or it's going to escalate into an argument, that's what you want. And in coaching, we role play those situations. And people see, oh, it's, you know, it's not that bad. It's not as bad. Your mind will make things so much worse than in reality. When you feel that discomfort, look at what your fear is. What is the fear? Is the fear that the person's going to judge me? Is the fear that the person's going to reject me? Is the, is the fear that if I go for a job that's a little bit outside of my comfort zone, maybe it's a, a little bit more pay than what I think I'm worth? that I, I will fail. And all of those things are, let that be your compass in what direction you move your life towards. You want to move your life towards that which makes you uncomfortable. And like anything, the more like riding a bicycle, first learning to ride the bicycle, you're going to fall down, you get back up, fall down again, get back up. And each time you do it, you get a little bit better and better and better. And that's the thing that people realize is, we do social stretching goals and they do these goals and they think, oh, well, that wasn't so bad. What else can I do? Oh, okay, that's that's not so bad either. And what you want to do is just take small little baby steps. 
if you're too uncomfortable, if you see a, a handsome guy and you want to go up and talk to them and that's too uncomfortable, start with just saying hello. Or if you see a pretty girl and just start saying hello to girls that, that you want to talk to and, and start there. And then maybe next you can ask them a question or maybe you could start with a smile, then engage in, in a short conversation. But our fear is not based now, obviously there's exceptions, but it's not, it's really not based in reality. If you were to write down all the fears that you've had in your life on a little piece of paper and put them in a fishbowl and then pull them out and see how many of them have come true, very few of them have come true. But we react to all this negative thinking in response to that which makes us uncomfortable. So I challenge you to start stretching your comfort zone and think of it as like the you have your what's comfortable the safe area the white area then maybe the yellow area which makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable and then the red panic area that makes you feel totally uncomfortable you don't need to go to the red go to the yellow and just stretch yourself a little bit a little bit of baby steps and you it builds confidence when you feel uncomfortable when i feel uncomfortable with situation and i do it anyways feels so rewarding. It's like a rush and you uh, a boost of confidence and you're creating new habits. And that's all it is. It's just creating new habits. And we have created a habit of avoiding that which makes us uncomfortable. And that habit can be changed. All right. Look forward to hearing from you in the comments and thanks for watching. If, and again, if you want any coaching, just hit me up uh, email. The consultation's free. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.